Hey Retro Food fans, today is a special Yester Kitchen with a special cocktail collaboration. We're going to make a great drink from the 70s. You're going to love it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, this is Yester Kitchen and I'm Jill on a special release day edition. So today I have joined a collaboration called Drink Tips. Drink Tips is all kinds of fabulous cocktails from all kinds of fabulous creators. Here they are now. I am going to put a link to all of their pages down in the description so you can take a look and enjoy all of the cocktails or you can just put hashtag Drink Tips up in the search bar right up there and find us that way. Either way, these are all spectacular creators and you're going to love everything they've made. So if you know me, you know I cook retro. If you don't know me, I cook retro. I cook all Americana with all the stories anywhere from the 1940s to the 1980s. And my favorite, favorite, favorite thing is the 1970s cocktail party. So when I heard about this collaboration, of course I wanted to join. So what am I going to make? I'm going to make you something from the 70s. Today, we're going to make a cocktail called the Grasshopper. It's actually much older than that, but very popular in the 70s. This is March. And March is St. Patrick's Day, so that's one of the reasons I chose it. It is a beautiful green. It's light, it's minty, but not too minty. It is delicious. It's almost like the perfect dessert drink that you could drink anytime. So the story goes that this drink was invented in 1918 by a man named Phil Berge Schott, who owned a restaurant in New Orleans called Two Jocks. Now, in New York, there was a cocktail competition in 1918, because this was before Prohibition, and Phil Bear created this drink to compete in that competition. And it came in second, which is pretty darn good. And this drink stood the test of time. It is classic. And so the drink was named Grasshopper for its color. So let's start making it. So the first thing we do is we have our shaker and our happy little shaker is filled with ice. And now we're just gonna add a few things to it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add creme de menthe. Now creme de menthe comes in two colors, green and white. This particular, oh, I'm spilling my brandy. This particular one I'm using is green because you need the green color, so get the green. The next ingredient we're gonna have is cream de cacao. There's kind of this um, chocolate almond thing going on. And cream de cacao comes in two colors also, white, clear, and brown. Definitely get the clear because if you get the brown, you will not have that gorgeous green color in your drink. And the only other thing we're gonna need is cream and a little bit of brandy. So, into your shaker goes one shot of green creme de menthe, one shot, let me open that, oh, it's a new bottle, of creme de cacao. I love that glug, 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 glug one shot of heavy cream. Yes, it's not the healthiest drink, but sure is good. And then you're just gonna wanna shake that up. Get my gorgeous glass in there. And you're just gonna shake it up and inside it's mixing all together and getting all frothy and happy. And then I'm using a martini glass. You can use a champagne glass. You can use really any glass you like, but this is kind of classic. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous green color. Now, tradition also, you don't have to do this part, but come on, you just want to pour a little bit of bad that I'm leaking everywhere, a little bit of brandy on the top, just a little, just a little splash. And there you have it, the grasshopper. So simple. Seriously, so delicious. It's not overly minty. It's not overly chocolate. It's just the perfect blend of a drink. So please don't forget to check out all my friends for this drink tip collaboration right down there. And tell them Jill said hi. And if you're new, hi. I hope you love it here. If you would like to explore more dishes from your childhood or just the past, I invite you to subscribe. I release new videos every Friday. In the meantime, here's some more retro dishes for you. Maybe I'll throw up a few cocktails. And remember, every dish or a cocktail, just like the grasshopper, has a story. I'll see you in the next video. 